Hello, welcome to English for Everyone, where we practice real-life American English. Today we're going to learn to avoid some common mistakes, so let's get started. First, this is not correct. The plant has grown, so the plant has got higher recently. I cannot say the plant has got higher recently. First, I would say taller, I wouldn't say higher. But that's not the real problem. The real problem is has got. We have to use a participle, has gotten. So we're talking about the verb get, get taller. The plant gets taller every day. In the past, the plant got taller. And if I use has, I use the participle gotten. The plant has gotten taller recently. So I cannot say the plant has got. I have to use the participle has gotten. Has got is used for possession. For example, he has got a car. He's got a car. Keep watching until the end of this video for a complete explanation of the difference between have got and have gotten. Let's practice. Has the plant gotten taller recently? That's right, the plant has gotten taller recently. Or I can say the plant has grown. Let's practice. Has the plant grown recently? That's right, the plant has grown recently. This is also not correct. Because you need to sit on that chair. I cannot say you need to sit on that chair. First, it's an airplane, so we would say seat. But the problem is the preposition. I cannot say on that chair, and I cannot say on that seat. We say in when you talk about sitting somewhere. You sit in a chair, you sit in a seat, not on. So if I'm on a plane, I say I need to sit in that seat. Again, use the preposition in. I need to sit in that seat. It's not called a chair because it's on a plane. It's called a seat. Example, he wants to sit in that seat. Or if I talk about this, I can say he wants to sit in that chair. Remember, use in, not on. Let's practice. Does he want to sit in that seat? That's right. He wants to sit in that seat. Does he want to sit in that chair? That's right. He wants to sit in that chair. This is also not correct. Or could you exchange places with me? I cannot say, can you exchange places with me? We don't use exchange in this situation. Exchange is a different idea. Exchange is, I give you something and you give me something else. For example, I give you a U.S. dollar and you give me a Canadian dollar. I can exchange currency. We use exchange in this case. But not for places. I cannot say, can you exchange places with me? So how do we say it? We have a few options. I can say, can you change places with me? I can say, can you trade places with me? I can say, can you swap places with me? And I can say, can you switch places with me? These are all correct. And you could hear any one of these examples. So remember the verbs. Change, trade, swap, and switch. These are the verbs we use in this situation. So example, she wants to switch places. She wants to change places. She wants to trade places. Or she wants to swap places. Let's practice. Does she want to change places? That's right. She wants to change places. Does she want to switch places? That's right. She wants to switch places. Does she want to trade places? That's right. She wants to trade places. Does she want to swap places? That's right. She wants to swap places. They're all correct. This is also not correct. You probably knew some of them because some of my videos went viral when I taught them. So I thought, why not bringing it to a long video? Why not making a longer video on YouTube? I cannot say why not bringing or why not making. I cannot use a gerund after why not. After why not, we use a simple verb. Example, it's your birthday. So I have an idea. Why not make a cake? I cannot say why not making a cake. I need a simple action. I need a simple verb. Make. Why not make a cake? Hey, I have another idea. Why not bring a present? Use a simple verb, bring, not bringing. Let's hear some examples of why not plus a simple verb. I know you've been missing New York. So I figured if we can't go to Manhattan, why not bring Manhattan to us? Why not go straight to the police? Why not make it look like an accident? 
Why not make it 100? Rock on! Why not make it 50? No, but why not go to college, get a degree in hotel management, and run the bar? I know, but I just wanted to tell somebody what I had done, and I thought, why not go to a professional? Why not go someplace where you can do the world some good? Why not go back? Tomorrow, instead of reading my mail in that dark, dusty hall, why not bring it upstairs where we can check it out together? This is also not correct. Teaching these words, which are super useful, but usually we don't learn them at a regular English courses. I cannot say we don't learn them at a regular English courses. First, with the article a, uh, I cannot say courses, because a uh is for one. So let's eliminate a. Uh. We don't learn them at regular English courses. We use a different preposition. We use in. In English courses. In regular English courses. So it's correct to say we don't learn them in regular English courses. No article a uh, and use the preposition in when you talk about courses. We don't learn them in regular English courses. So example, we're talking about slang words. Slang words? We don't learn them in regular English courses. Let's practice. Talking about slang words, do we learn them in regular English courses? That's right, we don't learn them in regular English courses. This is also not correct. And you're not just hungry, but your stomach is even making noises. You know, as if it's telling you, hey, let's grab something to eat. This noise made by the stomach is a verb. The verb is to growl. Growl. I cannot pronounce the word growl. Growl. The word is pronounced growl. Growl. So what's the difference? Well, when I say growl, you see that the mouth makes this position. Ooh, ooh. Growl. Ooh. Growl. Then you go to the dark L. Oh, oh, growl. Growl. When you're really hungry, your stomach makes a noise. Your stomach growls. My stomach growls when I'm hungry. What about you? Does your stomach growl when you're hungry? That's right. My stomach growls when I'm hungry. Let's look at some similar words. Owl. It's not all, it's owl. It's the sound owl, like how and now, plus the dark L. Owl. Owl. This is an owl. It's a kind of bird. And owls are nocturnal. They sleep during the day and they're awake all night. Owls are nocturnal. They're nocturnal animals. Let's talk about owls. Are owls nocturnal? That's right. Owls are nocturnal. Do owls sleep in the daytime? That's right. Owls sleep in the daytime. Are owls awake all night? That's right. Owls are awake all night. That's why if you talk about a person who likes to stay up late, we call him a night owl. I like to stay up late. I'm a night owl. Night owl. We hear the T change to a fast D. Night owl. I'm a night owl. What about you? Do you like to stay up late? Are you a night owl? Very good. And this word, howl. Howl. Not howl, but howl. Howl. Like how plus the dark L. Howl. That's what wolves and coyotes do. They howl. Ow. That's the word. That's the verb. Wolves and coyotes howl at night. Let's practice. Do wolves and coyotes howl at night? That's right. Wolves and coyotes howl at night. They do this. Howl. That's howl. Let's talk about growl again. We talked about our stomachs and we said, my stomach growls when I'm hungry. But the word comes from a dog. When a dog does this, Rrr, that's growl, that's where it comes from. The original growl is the dog. Rrr. My dog growls when the mailman comes. And so does this dog. This dog always growls when the mailman comes. Let's practice. Does the dog growl when the mailman comes? That's right. The dog always growls 
when the mailman comes. So keep watching to practice with the difference between has got and has gotten. Today we're going to talk about the difference between have got and have gotten. Let's get started. First, let's talk about the verb get. In the present get, in the past got, and present perfect have gotten. So remember, in the present get. For example, I get a lot of emails every day. Yesterday, I got a lot of emails. In the present get, in the past got, gotta. I got a lot of emails. The letter T is between two vowels. We pronounce it as a fast D. I got a lot of emails. And present perfect, have gotten. The letter T is a stop T, got, n. I have gotten a lot of emails today. I have, I have, contraction, I've. I've gotten a lot of emails today. So remember, in the present get, in the past got, present perfect, have gotten. Let's listen to some examples. I get letters from people in Idaho. Every day I get letters. I get a card from them every now and then. I get letters from people all the time thanking me for helping them through the loss of a spouse or a parent or a child, so yeah. Hey, I got a, an email from Mrs. Graves. And I got an email from his wife. I got an email in my outbox with a scanned copy of that Rockaway contract attached to it. I finally got a letter. I don't know if you're aware, but Murray played a clip of your stand-up on the show recently, and we have gotten an amazing response from our viewers. Well... I have gotten a placement. Like I said, things have gotten a little complicated. And her ears have gotten a whole lot better since she went blind. So remember, in the present, get. For example, I get stuck in traffic sometimes. In the past, I got stuck in traffic yesterday. And present perfect, I have gotten stuck in traffic many times. Have you ever gotten stuck in traffic? You guys get stuck in traffic or something? Oh, no, you don't want to get stuck in traffic. You stuck in traffic? Maybe she got stuck in traffic. I got stuck in traffic. Slim got stuck in traffic. A mysterious stranger has gotten stuck wow. squeezing through the bars on her window. Have you ever gotten stuck in your life? What about have got? In American English, we use have got for possession. You can say, I have a car or I've got a car. I have, contraction, I've, I've got a car. I've got a car. The letter T is between two vowels. We pronounce it as a fast D. I've got a car. I've got a car. Let's listen to some examples. I've got a job. I've got a car. I've got a beautiful girl sitting next to me. I have a job. I've got a house with a pool and a two-car garage. I, I got three PhDs. Hey, hey, don't do that. Hey, I've got a car seat for Lita if you don't have one. So remember, have gotten is present perfect. In the present get, I get a lot of emails. In the past, I got. Yesterday, I got a lot of emails. And present perfect, I have gotten a lot of emails today. And we use have got for possession. I've got a car. Keep watching this video for a complete explanation of how Americans use have got. Hello. Welcome to English for Everyone. Today we're talking about the action got. Got is the same as have for possession. You can say I have a car and you can say I got a car. Let's find out why. So, in original correct English we say I have got a car. I have contraction I've. I've got a car. Americans make this mistake, but everybody makes this mistake, so it's okay. I got a car, the same as I have a car for possession. So remember, it's correct and it's better to say I've, I've got a car, but a lot of people say I got a car, so it's okay too. And remember, in American English, we use the structure only for a positive, affirmative idea. We do not make questions or negatives with the structure in America.
So if you want to make a question, you say, do you have? If you want to make a negative, I don't have. But if it's positive, I have a car or I've got a car. Pronunciation. I've got a car. I've got a car. Or I got a car. Got a. G. Ah. Ga. D. God. God. A. Uh, gotta. 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 I've got a car. Very good. Let's practice. Do you have a house? Yes, I've got a house. Do you have a small house or a big house? I've got a small house. Do you have a house? Do you have a small house or a big house? Very good. Do you have a dog? Yes, I've got a dog. Do you have a small dog or a big dog? I've got a small dog. Do you have a dog? Do you have a small dog or a big dog? Very good. Are you busy today? Yes, I'm very busy today. Do you have a lot of things to do today? Yes, I've got a lot of things to do today. Are you busy today? Do you have a lot of things to do today? Very good. Do you have a lot of homework? Yes, I've got a lot of homework today. Do you have a lot of homework? Very good. So, how many kids do you have? I've got two kids. How many kids do you have? Very good. So, I got, I got a car is good for I, it's good for you. You got a car. They got a car and we got a car. But if you say he or she, the helper is has. She has got a car. When we make contractions, she has, she's, she's got a car. This one, we have to use the contraction she's. We cannot say she got a car. We have to keep it and we have to say it correctly. She's got a car, or if it's a boy, he's got a car. Let's practice. Does she have a car? Yes, she's got a car. Does she have a big car or a small car? She's got a small car. Does she have a car? Does she have a big car or a small car? Very good. How many kids does she have? She's got two kids. How many kids does she have? Very good. Does she have a boy or a girl? She's got a boy and a girl. Does she have a boy or a girl? Very good. So remember, you can say I got a car and you got a car, they got a car and we got a car, but we cannot say he got a car. We need he has contraction he's. He's got a car. Does he have a car? Yes, he's got a car. Does he have a big car or a small car? He's got a small car. Does he have a car? Does he have a small car or a big car? Very good. Does he have a dog? Yes, he's got a dog. Does he have a big dog or a small dog? He's got a small dog. Does he have a dog? Does he have a small dog or a big dog? Very good. So in this structure with got, there is no formal question in American English. But you can hear a question you got. For example, you got your backpack. This is casual English. And when you answer, yes, I got it. But remember, it's always correct to say, do you have? The pronunciation of the question, you got your backpack. You hear, you got your backpack. Pronunciation, you got, together, y, you got, you got. Got your backpack with a T, with a Y sound, the Y, T, together, CH, got CHU, got your. So it's, you got your backpack? You got your backpack? Yeah, I got it. I got it. I have it, or I've got it, or I got it. Pronunciation. I, g, I, g, ah, I got, d, I got, I got, it, I got it, t, 
I got it. I got it. But the final T is a stop T, so you don't hear T. I got it. You hear I got it. The tongue goes up and stops. I got it. I got it. Let's practice. You got your backpack? Yeah, I got it. You got your backpack? Very good. Let's practice. You got your keys? Yeah, I got them. Let's go. You got your keys? Let's go. I have the keys. I have them. Or I've got them. Or I got them. Or I got them. So I got them is I got them. I got them. I. I. Ah. I got. I got. Uh. I got him. Hmm. I got him. I got him. I got him. Very good. So we use the action have for obligation. I have to. I have to go to work. I have to go to work. I have to go to work. And we can use the same gotta. I gotta go to work. I gotta go. I have to go. They are the same. So, in the original, correct form, we say, I have got to go to work. I have, contraction, I've. I've got to go to work. I've got to go to work. This is correct. But in America, we don't pronounce the V. People say, I got to. Pronounced, I gotta. Not spelled like this, spelled like this. But pronunciation, gotta. I gotta go to work. Pronunciation. I've got to work. I've got to work today. I've got to go to work. I've got to. Got to? Gotta. I've gotta work today. Good. Ah, ga, god, uh, gotta. I've gotta go to work today. Gotta. I've gotta work today. Very good. Let's practice. Do you have to go to work today? Yeah, I've gotta go to work today. Do you have to go to work today? Very good. What time do you have to go? I gotta go at eight. What time do you have to go? Very good. Do you have to work today? Yeah, I gotta work today. Do you have to work today? Very good. How long do you have to work today? I gotta work till seven. How long do you have to work today? Very good. Do you have to do your homework? Yeah, I gotta do my homework. Do you have to do your homework? Very good. Do you have to do your homework tonight? Yes, I gotta do my homework tonight. Do you have to do your homework tonight? Very good. So remember, to express obligation, I can say, she has to clean the house. Or we can use this, she has got to clean the house. It's the same. Now, you hear, she has, contraction, she's, she's got to clean the house. Got to, pronunciation, gotta. She's gotta clean the house. And I cannot say she gotta, I need the z, she's gotta. She's gotta clean the house today. Let's practice. Does she have to do the laundry? Yes, she's gotta do the laundry. Does she have to do the laundry today? Yes, she's gotta do the laundry today. Does she have to do the laundry? Very good. Does she have to do the laundry today? Very good. Does she have to cook dinner? Yes, she's got to cook dinner. Does she have to cook dinner? Very good. Does she have to cook dinner tonight? Yes, she's got to cook dinner tonight. Does she have to cook dinner tonight? Very good. So to express obligation, I can say, he has to go to work. 
Or I can say, he has got to go to work. It's the same. Obligation. He has, contraction, he's. He's got to go to work. Pronunciation, you can hear got to or gotta. He's gotta go to work. But remember, no he gotta, I need contraction, he's. He's gotta go to work. Let's practice. Does he have to go to work? Yes, he's got to go to work. Does he have to go to work? Very good. Does he have to go to work right now? Yeah, he's got to go to work now. Does he have to go to work now? Very good. Does he have to do his homework? Yes, he's got to do his homework. Does he have to do his homework? Very good. Does he have to do his homework tonight? Yes, he's got to do his homework tonight. Does he have to do his homework tonight? Very good. Does he have to work today? Yes, he's got to work today. Does he have to work today? Very good. How long does he have to work? He's got to work till five. How long does he have to work? Very good. So let's review. This is correct English. I've got a car. She, she's got a car. For he, he's got a car. But remember, sometimes people don't pronounce v mm, and they say, I got a car. Not correct, but everybody says it. So remember to express obligation. I have to go to work or I've got to go to work. He's got to go to work and she's got to go to work. Pronunciation, sometimes you hear gotta, she's got to go to work. Sometimes you hear gotta, she's got to go to work. It's all correct. And remember, sometimes people don't pronounce mm, they say I gotta, I gotta go to work. It's not correct, but everybody says it. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss the new videos coming out each week. Goodbye.